All right, let's uh, head over to Tim. He's not. Uh, they're probably more petrol than electric going on there. I would but... think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, Tim. <laughs> Good morning to your team. That's right, we are focusing on driver safety on this Sunday morning. Lots of cyclists, of course, hitting the road today. And as you can see here, a metre really matters. James Stewart from the Ford Driving Skills for Life course, uh, running here today at City Motorsport Park. James, for cyclists, what you're teaching today is so vital. Yeah, without a doubt. And it's just trying to teach that metre matters. But a lot of people don't understand how far a metre is. No. So I guess the big message we try and push is that a metre, treat a cyclist like a mother, father, a brother, sister, son or daughter, and give them that space. Yeah, great tip. Lots of space. Uh, all right, let's take a look first what is happening with our weather, and we'll chat a little more. Cairns today, oh, let, let's see with, with the weather. Here's our billboard. Well, the Ford Driving Skills for Life program has today partnered up with the Amy Gillett Foundation. Sarah Dalton from the Foundation here with us this morning. Um, how important is this partnership? It's incredibly important. What we know in Australia is that there's a real gap in driver licensing processes and education. And people going through those processes in education just don't get the skills they need to share the road safely with cyclists. Yeah. So programs like this fill an important gap and they help empower young drivers to know what to do and how to share the road safely. And the foundation, of course, everyone would remember back in 2005, Amy tragically killed when uh, she was hit by a driver while training in Germany. Um, so since 2006, the foundation really doing everything it can to try and educate people to try and keep cyclists safe. And Sarah Giganti over here is our, one of our national elite champions uh, for elite road racing. Sarah, you've actually been hit by a car while riding on the road. Yeah, last year I was just going through a roundabout and the driver said he didn't see me, so I was lucky that I was okay, but yeah, I use the roads every day and so do...